Officials at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they've made a troubling discovery. Workers have detected a surge in the amount of radioactive cesium in a well at the facility in recent days. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials regularly monitor groundwater around the reactor buildings. They check for radioactive substances and analyze their effect on the environment. On Monday, workers found 9,000 becquerels of cesium-134 per liter of water in an observation well and 18,000 becquerels of cesium-137. The well is located between the number two reactor and the ocean. The amounts were about 90 times higher than on Friday. What the fuck? The amounts were about 90 times higher than on Friday. TEPCO officials say they can't explain the sudden jump. TEPCO officials say they can't explain the sudden jump. They're also unsure how the cesium is affecting the ocean. Workers have detected increasing amounts of radioactive substances in seawater near the plant since May. A sample taken last week contained the highest concentration of radioactive tritium recorded in more than two years. It's been a long way, but residents of a town hit by both the 2011 tsunami and the Fukushima nuclear accident are now seeing some progress. <coughs> Workers in Naraha town have completed the removal of debris left from the tsunami and decontamination work can now begin. The work will start in the coastal areas of Naraha, paving the way for the early return of residents. They evacuated their homes two years ago following the nuclear accident at the nearby Fukushima Daiichi plant. Parts of the town were included in a no-entry zone due to concerns about radioactive substances leaking from the plant. The restriction was lifted in August last year. The central government began removing debris in the town in March and the work was completed at the end of June, the first among municipalities with sites designated as off-limits. Pieces of wood and piles of debris from the foundations of houses are being stored at two temporary sites. The Environment Ministry says that conditions have been met to launch decontamination work in the coastal areas. The ministry says levels of radioactive substances contained in the debris were lower than the government said limit of 100,000 becquerels per kilogram. Officials at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they've made a troubling discovery. Workers have detected a surge in the amount of radioactive cesium in a well at the facility in recent days. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials regularly monitor groundwater around the reactor buildings. They check for radioactive substances and analyze their effect on the environment. On Monday, workers found 9,000 becquerels of cesium-134 per liter of water in an observation well and 18,000 becquerels of cesium-137. The well is located between the number two reactor and the ocean. The amounts were about 90 times higher than on Friday. TEPCO officials say they can't explain the sudden jump. They're also unsure how the cesium is affecting the ocean. Workers have detected increasing amounts of radioactive substances in seawater near the plant since May. A sample taken last week contained the highest concentration of radioactive tritium recorded in more than two years. Workers at Japan's damaged nuclear plant have detected a spike in levels of a radioactive substance in nearby seawater. The plant's operator says it's the highest reading for tritium offshore in two years. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers collected water from a port near the Fukushima Daiichi plant on Wednesday. They found it contained 2,300 becquerels of tritium per litre. That's twice the amount detected about two weeks ago and the highest since monitoring began in June 2011. But they say the figure is still well below the government set safety limit. TEPCO workers also tested water collected from a well near the port. They found it contained a record level of radioactive substances, 900,000 becquerels per litre. TEPCO officials say they can't rule out the possibility that contaminated groundwater seeped into the sea. They say they plan to build more observation wells and they'll solidify the ground to prevent the water reaching the ocean. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has detected a higher level of radioactivity, including from strontium, at a new observation well closer to the sea. 
Tokyo Electric Power Company says it will further investigate possible leaks of contaminated water into the ocean. TEPCO said it determined on Friday that the level of beta radiation in water at a newly dug observation well was more than twice the level at an older one. The higher level was 3,000 becquerels per litre. Beta radiation is emitted by strontium and other radioactive nuclei. The new well was dug at a point close to the sea after TEPCO found that radioactive tritium and strontium were higher than government set levels at the older well near a reactor building. TEPCO says it's hard to know the reason at the moment, but the level of radioactivity in the sea has not greatly changed. It adds it is also unknown whether anything has leaked into the sea. The operator says it will set up more observation wells to analyze the groundwater at the Fukushima Daiichi plant site. It is also planning to solidify the ground for seawalls to avoid leakage. Executives at some of Japan's utility companies are working to get their nuclear plants back to generating power. They filed applications to restart reactors. The units must pass stricter safety checks put in place in response to the 2011 accident in Fukushima. Power companies are seeking to restart 10 reactors at five facilities. The plants are located throughout Japan from Tomari on the northern island of Hokkaido to Sendai in southern Kagoshima Prefecture. Power company executives submitted their applications to the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Monday, the day the new safety requirements took effect. 80 experts with the watchdog will determine whether the utilities have taken all necessary measures to make sure plants can withstand earthquakes and tsunami. Authorities, uh, officials uh, say it will take at least six months to process each application. Currently, only two of Japan's 50 commercial uh, reactors are online. Japan's nuclear regulator will begin processing applications filed by four power companies to restart their nuclear reactors. The utilities submitted their applications on Monday to restart ten reactors at five plants. The five include the Tomari plant run by Hokkaido Electric Power Company and the Oi and Takahama plants operated by Kansai Electric. The others are Shikoku Electric's Ikata plant and Kyushu Electric's Sendai plant. The Nuclear Regulation Authority will set up three teams. Each will be in charge of three to four reactors. Utility representatives will explain their safety measures to the NRA at a meeting on July 16th. They'll also relay their assessment of possible quakes and tsunami. We bring new friends to play. Hi. Show how much you care. I wrote this just for you. We make you smile. You set the spark, you stoke the fire, and then you act surprised When the flames go up, when the barn comes down right there before your eyes Oh, the tools that you manipulate are more powerful each day And they will overcome you, they'll crush you and take from you All the marrow and the sinew of your ideology But don't get upset, don't be like that it's your own damn fault That your flock is ready to fight It is too late To turn around Turn them all to salt No, your monsters come to life Oh Well, rocks are thrown and voices used To tear down the innocent 
People will die with ideas cast in rebar stoked cement. Oh, the words you shout has moved the herd to break free from their cage. Japanese earthquake researchers are going deep to create a faster, more precise warning system. A large-scale underwater network of seismographs and tsunami recorders is being installed in the Pacific Ocean along the country's eastern seaboard. A ship began placing seismographs and recorders off Chiba Prefecture near Tokyo. They, these will detect tsunami by observing changes in water pressure. The instruments are contained in metal tubes. These will be installed at 150 locations on the seabed along the Japan Trench. This deep sea trench runs off the coast of eastern Japan. Observation data will be sent via an underwater cable nearly 6,000 kilometers long. If a quake occurs near the trench, the seismographs will enable the meteorological agency to issue faster warnings. The tsunami recorders will also offer quicker detection. I hope the improved data gathering will help save lives and reduce damage by giving precise information. The National Research Institute for Earth Science and Disaster Prevention plans to complete the project in about two years.